Hey everybody, in this review, we are going to be going over the LensGo LWM328C. That's a, that's a long name. Okay, so let's get right into this review. This microphone is definitely a little bit different than other lav mics are, I've reviewed. Uh, particularly, there's a couple of key features in this. This microphone has the ability to record directly to an SD card. Oh, it's not an SD card, it's a TF card which I had to look up and check and try and Amazon a card because I don't have any of those laying around. Unfortunately, one didn't come in on time, so I wasn't able to record um, a test for you guys. But the option or the being able to have the option to record straight to an SD card is actually pretty awesome. Normally, what I always do, and I recommend this for any microphone really, is I always plug into something like a Zoom H1 um, or H4n, whatever you can get your hands on uh, to plug in a microphone to do the external recording because you're always going to get better quality audio. So that's actually what I'm doing with this microphone here is I'm going out and I am actually using the microphone right here um, and it's going into an, uh, a Zoom H4n, or I'm sorry, a Zoom H1 uh, and just the old school, you know, $60 version, whatever it is. So this microphone has a longest distance range of 150 meters, which is a pretty long range. I've noticed that uh, non-Bluetooth microphones have a much longer range. There's some differences, and I wanna do a whole separate video on that, but th these microphones are great because their distance is amazing. I mean, usually Bluetooth microphones have a max of 50 meters-ish before it starts getting really bad, but with you know traditional kind of radio style microphones like this, where they have the antennas and all that stuff, you can go a really far distance, and that's a huge, huge plus for these microphones, especially if you're in a situation where you have to mic someone really, really far. Another big feature is being able to self-monitor in real time, which is awesome. Um, so you just plug in your microphones into the receiver and you can listen. The build quality on this microphone is actually pretty good. It's like a hard plastic. It's not metal, um, which I don't mind at all. If it was metal, it'd be super heavy. Um, but for this one, it's, it's a very durable, rugged, hard plastic. If you look at the case, actually, the case is pretty awesome. It, um, well, it protects the microphones really, really good. Um, at first, I usually would put something like this in a different case, but figure why not. I'm going to keep these microphones in this case just because it's so well protected. And it is nice that they are able to supply that. They didn't just put like a plastic shell or something like that where you could dispose of it. You can actually keep this box and hold on to it. These mics take AA batteries, so that's definitely good to know. Um, I always recommend changing out those batteries right before you do anything important, any interview, any project, whatever the case may be, always swap those out because the last thing you wanna have is your uh, batteries dying on you and you kind of miss your interview or whatever uh, you're doing. That's a terrible situation and I'm sure we've all been there and you don't wanna repeat it. So have, always have fresh batteries with you and keep that in mind when you buy this mic. Okay, so the quality of audio itself on this microphone is actually pretty good. Um, the, these past few months, I've been reviewing a lot of different microphones, specifically lav mics, and as soon as I put this in, I noticed a difference right away. I don't know if it's a higher grade microphone or just the actual transmitter themselves, I'm not sure, but it does actually stand out. And that's why I believe the price is a little bit more on the higher end side for these mics. A lot of the ones I've been reviewing have been right around that $100 range and all that stuff, and they've been fine. But this one being at $200, there's a big difference in price and there's a big difference in audio quality. Much, much better on this. I was able to notice right away. You probably hear a lot of echo in this room and that's only because this is a big room and unfortunately I haven't sound treated it properly yet. So that's why you're hearing a lot of like, you know, echo and all that stuff, but it's much, I'll tell you right now, the, the quality on this microphone is much better than any of the uh, lav mics that I've been reviewing lately. Okay, so with that said guys, I highly recommend this microphone. I think it is a great microphone, especially for the price of $200. Um, and again, this is kind of for the person that's looking for a non-Bluetooth uh, microphone that's gonna go very far distance and still come in very high quality and very clear. Um, this is the microphone for you. You have to be kind of looking for a specific type of microphone. Um, but anyways, I hope this review was able to help you out. If you have any questions, please post them below. Um, I'd be happy to uh, take a look and answer them if I can. Um, so yeah, take care.